This next combination that we're going to throw is an elbow combination for inside the tie clinch. Uh, a lot of times you'll end up here in an MMA fight when you're fighting for head and arm control. It's a great way for you to get head and arm control or a wrestler's clinch, whatever you want to call a head and arm, uh, for you to throw an inside elbow combination in a professional uh, MMA or Muay Thai fight. If you're fighting amateur, this is probably not allowed, but you need to know it just in case. We're here. Our right arm, both of us have it across our opponent's head. Our left arm goes straight across our opponent's arm. Okay? This is a standard head and arm clinch or wrestler's clinch, whatever you want to call it. Now, a lot of people will throw their hooks right here, but every time I start to throw a hook, he's going to raise his elbow. So we go here. All right? We're, we're not really getting any damage done here. A lot of people will try to stand back and throw this, but every time they do that, I stand back, he swims his arm, and I end up here. Okay? We don't want to do any of that. What we're going to do is from here, we're going to take this hand, and we're going to drop it down just a little bit. Because dropping it down, it's going to relax his far side arm. When we're here, he feels like he's got a beat. What we're going to do with that, let's put it down the side. What we're going to do with that arm is once it's come from here, we're going to drop it down and then lift it straight up. All we are trying to do is get his head above our shoulders. Because we're here, lift it down, boom. That's all I want right there. Because this arm that was resting right here on his bicep comes across at a downward angle. First one is up, second one is downward angle. All we're trying to do is get a cut right there above the eye. If the cut is below the eye, the fight goes on. If the cut is above the eye, the ref has to stop it because my opponent can no longer see. So if we're here, and I'm here, and I, you know, we're sitting here, and we're throwing these little punches, and we're throwing knees, and we're throwing leg kicks, what I want to do is eventually slip this arm under. That relaxes him. Boom. Lift him up. Two. Over. Okay? Now you can follow this up with whatever hand combination or leg combination you want to throw. But essentially, it's these elbows that are going to set up the end of this fight. One last time. We're here. We're throwing these legs. We're throwing hands. Whatever we're doing. Hand comes down. Hand goes straight back up with the elbow lifting. One. Two. Then I can throw my straight right. However you want to end the combination. But essentially, it's going to be here. You're going to be here. You're throwing these punches, kicks. You're throwing your knees. Whatever you want to throw. Give it to them a little bit. Up. Down. All right? So essentially, my elbow is coming in toward the center of his chest. As he relaxes this arm on my bicep, because he feels like he has this control, I've gone from here to here. Now, one, two. That's the combination. Now, if you want to make it sexy, you can go from here. He pushes in one, two, three. And you throw your right hand right behind it. Start your other combinations. But essentially, it's that one, two that we want. That's what sets up the end of the fight. Okay? From another angle. We're here. We're sitting here. We're throwing these inside strikes. We're trying to, you know, set each other up. I want to take this and let him push me inside. Now, one. Now, two. Now I can start with my other combination if I want to. But essentially, it's that one, two. I'm trying to lift his head. I want his chin line. This right here. I want that above my shoulders. Because above my shoulders, that's where I throw that home run derby. Right there. Okay? So if I get his head above my shoulders, if you think about it, if my chin, if, if his chin goes right here, this is above my shoulders. How hard could you hit something right there? I mean, as hard as you wanted to. That's essentially what you're going for. So we're here, we're setting each other up. I let him bait me in. One, two. Now, I swing for the fences on that. I'm trying to go right above his eye. You're not trying to go on his chin, you're not trying to go on his jaw. You're trying to go right above the eye, right there, because that's the cut. This hand comes through with the knockout. That's what you want. That's the setup, okay? One last time, a little quicker. Bait, one, two, punch. And you're coming right down the pipe. That's an inside elbow combination. It's one that you need to have a lot of, uh, of practice and a lot of uh, caution when you're training with an opponent. If you're one of the coaches, you have your hand combination. When you throw here, this hand, you say, go, up, now go, over. So your hand pads, you're here, you're going to go, go, one, two. Okay? Uh, it's one of those that a coach can lose teeth if he's not careful with it. Uh, it's a devastating elbow combination, one that you need to have in your arsenal. Practice carefully, but that's one you should definitely work on.